Hey guys, what is going on? I know it's been a while, but, um, well, we're here now. So, what we want to talk about is, <clears throat> what has happened with the three-wheeled electric vehicle market? Now, I know the Polaris is still going, right? And I'm really interested in getting one, that and, uh, or a Vanderhall. Now, these aren't electric uh, vehicles. These are gas-powered uh, engines. But it's the only three-wheeler that I, that I saw on the freeway here in California, Los Angeles. I did see one or uh, two electric mechanicas on the freeway. But as you know, the electric mechanica now, uh, they're buying back all of them. And um, they're going to go a different route. Now we type in three-wheeled electric vehicle let's see what we get Arsimoto okay so Arsimoto still doing their thing but I still yet have to see one on the road I haven't seen one in the wild but there they are look how uh, look at the open design of uh, this they do have different iteration of uh, this they even have like this delivery van I guess that's perfect for the city, right? Especially if you're doing like a lot of DoorDash and a lot of like uh, stuff like that. Home deliveries. <clears throat> perfect for the beach as well. And when I was in Miami, I saw lots of uh, the slingshots there. I didn't see any electric vehicles at all, like electric three-wheelers. All right, so we have Arsimoto. Let's go back to Google here. Um, Arsimoto was the top hit. Helix motor, yeah, this is another one. I was working with Helen for a bit. Helen is the, um, I don't know, is it the CEO of the company? But uh, it, it kind of takes from the Carver design, how the the vehicle leans with the turns. Let me see. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how the Helix looks like. So that's how it looks like right there. It looks pretty cool and uh, very... Uh, Techie, right? It looks very modern. A little bit of spec, so there it is, uh, leading. It says the true excitement factor, the dynamic steering control system tilts the vehicle cabin safely and automatically like a motorcycle. And you have all the connectivity, of course. That's pretty much uh, standard nowadays. You know, you can have your hands free call and things like that. And if you look at the design here, and I do know that uh, they are uh, working part in Europe and parts are here, but I do know that they are actually in Spain. Um, last time I was uh, talking with the company. So that's Helix, right? Oh, yeah, pricing wise. Oh, they don't have any pricing because they don't have. Um, but I, I would say it would be, you know, under 20,000 or under 30,000 maybe. To some of you, maybe like, I don't want to spend that kind of money on that. I can buy uh, something else for that price. Okay, the Nimbus 150 mile an hour enclosed three wheel EV. I haven't seen this one before. Okay, this one goes 50 miles an hour, just like the Sam. But I do know that uh, you need to have faster speeds than that. If even if you're, even if it's a city car. They might, they might be times where you have to get on the freeway real quickly, you know, to save some time. You need to be able to, uh, and with the SAM, and I'll give you guys an update on the SAM. So for the SAM, I was thinking we can do like a sports mode. Like you can just do different modes. So what you do is like your normal mode, right? You can go up to 50 miles an hour. And then when you go to sport mode, you know, uh, you can go faster you can go 60 70 miles an hour like a warning screen when you click on sport so that says that you know you know using sport may decrease your range so I think I think that would be cool but let's look at this car right here this is the one okay looks very Spartan right very looks very futuristic I think it's pretty cool looking but you know I don't know if it's for me but Let's see. 
Okay, so they say that the, the Nimbus One combines the convenience and cost of a motorbike with the safety of a comfort car. Okay. So it's the reverse trike design that the Nimbus One adopts. Oh, okay, so the Nimbus One also leans just like the Carver. But this one, you don't have like that big block. So I guess it does all the leaning right here in the front. Okay. Uh, there's also, there's a main seat for a driver as well as space for either a second jump seat or a cargo behind the driver. And there's also attachment points for a child seat. That will be included. The Nimbus one is referred to as an auto cycle or a three-wheeled vehicle class that usually includes standard seat, seat belts, and steering wheel. However, auto cycles are a state level class of vehicle in the US and there exists no federal level classification for auto cycles. That means that they are federally classified as motorcycle and must conform to all NHTSA motorcycle regulations. Which means you don't have to crash test these things. The batteries are removable so that you can charge it away from the vehicle. They have a Go Go Pro style battery swap in kiosks. So you can go somewhere drive up to a kiosk swap the battery that's kind of cool I guess right so if you need a battery you just owners will just go to this kiosk they'll swap out the battery then the the kiosk will just recharge the battery and send it out again it's a cool idea but I think it's gonna be a log logistical nightmare I mean you have to pop one of these things up everywhere right but I guess just like Tesla, when I had my Tesla, I didn't, I rarely charge at a supercharger because I just charge at home. Oh, let's look at the interior. Look at the interior. It's got a top and flat bottom uh, steering wheel. It seems like both doors open, I think. Uh, again, very Spartan. And, um, you know, this is a prototype. And there's the sizing of the vehicle. Yeah, look at that. In one parking spot, you can park three of them. They said that the, they anticipate the price uh, will stay at $10,000. So Electrek's, uh, Electrek's uh, questions are this. Uh, will the vehicle be able to achieve its anticipated performance specs? Uh, will the price stay at 10000 Will they make the delivery timeline one year from now? So there's a lot of questions. It's true. But... I, I've been in this electric vehicle for many, many years, and uh, the chances of it going into market is very slim, and that's kind of like what I'm seeing now, and this is the whole, my whole take with this whole video, uh, is the, is the need still there? Are the people still wanting to buy electric three-wheelers? I was just at a local motorcycle uh, dealership month ago and there were some people that were actually uh, we met two couple that were buying um, Polaris and one of them it was their second one so there is a market for it but uh, it's very 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 small now with that I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on the Sam so we're kinda dormant right now because we do have uh we we do have some shipping containers in Detroit right now that is filled with uh supplies and parts so at the moment we are just trying to find different avenues on how to get this vehicle to the market because we do have buyers out there and there's a lot of interest out there and I think once we get them all on the road interest will just go from there so that's pretty much it with Sam right now guys uh, it, it is a tough road. That's why I can probably help answer some of these electric questions. Okay, so the question was, will the price stay at $10,000? Uh, probably not. It, it may go up higher. Uh, will they make a delivery timeline on uh, the timeline on one year from now? No. Not going to make that. Uh, there are a lot of questions. Yeah. I don't think they'll they'll make it. So, again... What do you guys think, man? What do you guys think of the electric three-wheel vehicles? Do you guys think that there's still a uh, a market for it? Uh, and I know it's not going to replace all the vehicles, right? It's not. It just can't do that. So it's just going to be like, you know, it's, it's part of the team. 
like I've been saying for all these years, it's it's kind of like in your garage, if, if you can afford to have multiple vehicles, two cars, it's great, right? You have one car for long distance, and you have a car that's just to go around town if you just need to go to, to, to the market and get something. So, and that's what they're designed for. So, my big question is, is there still that market? I do know there is, there are buyers out there, but does that amount of buyers equate into success? I don't know. I guess, you know, it all depends on on where you set your standards for success. So, all right, guys. Well, that was just a quick my quick take uh, on on three wheel vehicles. I, I'm still for it, man. I mean, uh, I still talk to a couple of people. I still talk to people that are Elio fans, and you know, sometimes we sit there and reminisce. I'm like, how many miles we would have on our Elio by now? But um, obviously, that's not gonna happen. Even though the website is still up, they're still taking deposits. I believe. Well, you know what? Let's do that. Yeah. So the website is still up, and they are still taking. Are they? Oh, are they taking? They're not taking deposits anymore. Yeah, so they're not taking deposits anymore. At least what they're doing is they're just kind of giving it the info on what they want it to be. Look at that speed, bro. Top speed, 110 miles an hour. And it's electric. What the heck? Wow. Look at that, guys. It was our dream, right? For so many, many years. Yeah. <laughs> we just got We just got messed up. All right, guys. Anyways, thank you, guys. Thank you for uh, watching the video, and uh, I definitely need to get more videos up. I will be posting more videos up. Uh, I am planning on my brother and I actually planning on changing the channel up a bit. We are uh, planning on buying like salvage vehicles and restoring them, just like all the other <laughs> YouTube uh, car channels they have out there. But I think that's something that uh, we're going to enjoy doing as well. So uh, tell me what you guys think of that. Do you guys think that uh, uh, that's something that we can do? And what we can also do in planning is we would like to do a list of uh, possible vehicles that we would like to uh, uh, take on as a project. And then have you guys help out with the decision. You know, we'll post up a video and... We'll, We'll show you guys the selections that we have and maybe you guys can help us decide on which one we can get and we can build together uh, on our channel all right guys so please uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to uh, the channel and also uh, click on that notification and make sure you try and get all the notifications so you're not going to miss any uh, episode and i definitely uh, do like to apologize to uh, all of my viewers that uh, I haven't been giving love to in the last uh, whoa, last year or so. Um, we'll try and change that. Okay, guys, but uh, we're going to kind of change the channel a bit. The channel is going to focus on vehicles always. Always. That's it for now, guys. I hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you guys on the next video.